Good morning, Warriors fans. Sports Information Director Adam Heinz in with you today here in Fort Myers, where the Warriors are continuing their spring break trip today by taking on the Millican University Big Blue in a doubleheader here at Terry Park on day two of the Gene Cusick Collegiate Classic. The field that the Warriors will be playing on today was once home to four Major League Baseball teams as their spring training facility, first beginning with the Philadelphia Athletics in 1925 and later followed by the Cleveland Indians, Pittsburgh Pirates, and most recently the Kansas City Royals in 1987. Many baseball greats have graced this playing field in which the Warriors will be playing on here today. The Warriors today are one of 160 college baseball teams who use this facility during the month of March to begin their college baseball season. Again, the Warriors and Milliken University Big Blue from Terry Park in Fort Myers, Florida. One, two, three! Last night you were all on You guys, do we have a reason to be confident? Can we can take a few. We sure do. We sure do. That's right. Nice guy. Nice guy. Nice guy. Good nice boy. Nice job, Brady. All right. Good, solid win. Nice, solid win. That's Warrior Baseball right there, guys. That's Warrior Baseball, all right? Moving runners, good quality at bats, good aggressive base running, awesome pitching, good, solid defense. Way to be heads up. Nice team win. Good job, guys. Good job. Good job, boys. Let's go. All right, a um, couple things, guys. Um, Doug, where's Doug? Yeah, 99 times out of 100 you get that down, he throws that one three feet outside, all right? So, you know, that's not your bad, that's no one's fault. That's the one pitch that he makes right there. You know, there, there's nothing he can do. What's that? Yeah, so that's a good attitude, but, you know, everything else you're getting down, all right? Good, good job beating heads up base running, all the guys, okay? Nice work on that. Alex? Awesome job, Bill. Awesome job. Okay, guys, again, confidence and execution. Now, we talked yesterday, it wasn't attitude or effort, right? That was good. Today, that was solid again, all right? Everyone's pulling together. That's awesome, all right? But it's the execution, all right? Today, we got a great pitching job. Our defense was much more solid, all right? And we executed those small things. Okay, we executed those small things. There's still a few things. Can we get better, guys? Yep. Let's be better in game two. All right. Let's be better in game Sports two. Sports Information Director Adam Heinz in here today with Wisconsin Lutheran College freshman pitcher Alex Raver as the Warriors shut out Milliken University 4 to nothing in the first game of a doubleheader today here at Terry Park. Alex, today tremendous in your first collegiate outing. 13 strikeouts, three hit shutout. Uh, talk about how you felt on the mound out there in your first uh, debut. Uh, I felt good. Uh, first inning, I had the jitters as I expected, and everyone's like, calm down, stay within yourself. And then last night, got a text from my dad, hey, go to bed, you know how to pitch, just go have fun. And that's what I did. All right, you were, you were setting them down early. You got one inning, you uh, had two Millican runners on base, but you got out of the jam. Um, you even had your defense make some plays. Talk about uh, how they helped you out. Well, I figured I'd keep it interesting for them, too, let them get a few balls out in the field. But... Uh, with the two runners on base, uh, I didn't want to be in that situation, but at the same time, I just knew I had to bear down. Coach Schmidt always taught me, bear down, you know how to pitch. How does the arm feel after an outing like this? I feel great. I feel great. All right, that was Wisconsin Lutheran College freshman Alex Raver, who struck out 13 batters on a three-hit shutout as the Warriors defeat Milliken University 4-0. Do it. Let's get behind him. Sounds like a win. Get some runs. Right away, get on fire, bro. Let's go. Sticks hot. One on three, one on three, one, two, three. What? All right, first thing, guys. Josh, next time you can get that pop up. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> I'll let off. What a play, man. Man, great play. All right, good job. Really good play. You made the play, did it confidently. Did it confidently. Good work. Okay, guys, these guys are in the, con the conference with the national champs from last year. All right. And they had a decent amount of wins, and just after, you know, they said, you got a nice team. And we do. We know that, right? We have a nice team. All right? Good, solid game today, guys. Good, solid game. Josh, awesome job. Yeah. Good job. Yeah. Nice. Good, solid defensive effort, guys. All the way around, all right? From throwing out runners, stealing, from making plays, from being aggressive. That was awesome, guys. Great defense today. Good defense. That's probably what I'm most pleased about. We didn't play our best. 
by far, right? We didn't execute. We have to get bunts down, guys. We have to get bunts down. When it's a sack bunt, square up early, get that down, all right? Again, we left runs out on that board, okay? Our base running can get better too, all right? Now, that's a good thing that we can get better, right? We beat a solid team here, and we definitely can get better, okay? And, and we know that, okay? We definitely know that. I love the way you guys battle, okay? If you want to be up there in clutch situations, we're getting used to this now. Great wins, guys. Great wins. Sports Information Director Adam Heinzen here with Tyler Shane and Josh Smith. Uh, two heroes from today's game as the Warriors defeated Milliken University 6-2 to, to complete the doubleheader sweep. Uh, first, Josh, your first start of the season for the Warriors. Talk about how you felt on the mound today. Well, it felt good to get out there, you know, um, get ahead right away. Um, a little jitters at the beginning, as always, but you know, I knew I had a great defense behind me, which helped me a lot today, so it gave me a lot of confidence. Scored two early runs in the first inning. Uh, did that make you change up your pitches at all? No, early? it really changed, but game, like, like I said, the confidence that I needed. Like, it was good to get ahead right away and have that little comfort zone right when I get out there right away. So. And talk about going the distance. Obviously, we'll talk to Tyler in a moment, but uh, the, the big run support late in the game to, to help you finish things off. Yeah, that was great. Uh, when, when they tied it up, you know, the team got a little down, but then our motivation got up, our bats came through in the end and uh, helped us out a lot. And Tyler, also the battery mate uh, for Josh today behind, behind the, the plate. Uh, talk about uh, the game that you called and, and how Josh was throwing today. Oh, me and Josh, so we were on the, on the same page all day. Everything was hitting our, we were hitting our spots and we were getting out where we needed to. So. And then in the sixth, Tyler, you came up with the plate with two guys on uh, with a 2 2 tie, broke it with a, a triple, with uh, ultimately won the game for you guys. Uh, talk about uh, the, the appearance at the plate uh, in the sixth. Well, with runners in scoring position like that, I'm looking to drive the ball, happened to give me a pitch up in the zone, and I took it to the right center. So. All right, that was Wisconsin Lutheran College sophomores. Tyler Shane and Josh Smith as the Warriors defeated Milliken University 6-2.